Enable notifications by ringing the bell. I did not know this was a thing. I didn't know it was a thing until this dude told me. I didn't know it until yesterday until one of my friends shared it. And I was like, oh, my God. So, okay. Uncharted just, fan film. Yeah, like, I mean. Huge fan of Uncharted. Huge fan of Nathan Fillion. And I've been saying for the longest time, Nathan Fillion needs to play Nathan Drake. But because Nathan Fillion is in his uh, 40s and is uh, almost nearing 50, actually, uh, that it would be near impossible. <laughs> Except for, ah! except for not. Except it's not, because there's an Uncharted uh, fan film right here, and uh, Nathan Fillion is playing Nathan Drake. So I'm excited, to say the least. I mean, look at me. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> oh, my God. I might get another nosebleed. Holy shit. made Nate's day. Oh, yeah. Might have gave him an anime guy. <laughs> nosebleed. And, nosebleed. And no, nosebleed. actually, they made that joke last night <laughs> when I was playing... Uh, when I was. When I was playing Kingdom Hearts 2, Tifa was on screen, like, beating the crap out of a, out of an office, like, trying to turn it over. And there's this one part where she punches a wall. And right when she punches that wall, drip. And I'm like, and all of a sudden, no, no. <laughs> I wish it were like that. That would have been funny. But uh, I'd have probably died, too, because uh, that much blood lost. Jesus. Yeah, that's a lot of blood. Yeah, but anyway, I, um, I then uh, went, like, well, got a nosebleed. Be right back. I go into the uh, I go into the bathroom, and as soon as I go in the bathroom to like get some uh, toilet paper to plug up my nose, all of a sudden Ben's just like, <laughs> I'm like, what? It's like, oh yeah, it's the uh, anime uh, nosebleed thing, and I'm like, oh god, <laughs> and it's like all because Tifa was on screen, and I'm like, okay, look, I love Tifa, and I think she's very attractive, but come on, guys, but yeah, I, needless to say, I'm very excited, I'm very happy that. That this is a thing. That I'm, I'm going to get to watch it. Just like getting to watch Thomas Jane as the Punisher again in like the Punisher Dirty Laundry uh, short film that they did a couple years ago. I thought that was awesome. Have mm -hmm. you seen that? Uh, uh Did you ever watch the Thomas Jane Punisher film? Uh -uh. Okay. It's actually pretty damn good. And um, there was a talk for a long time about a sequel, but then all of a sudden the sequel handling got taken away from the original director, and then Thomas Jane was just like, no, nah, I'm not in it anymore. And then uh, years later, they did a, a short film with Ron Perlman in it as well. Ron Perlman has a supporting part in it. And it's so damn good. And uh, if this is anything of that caliber that we get here, I'm going to be very happy. So, I think you'll like this. So let's not delay anymore. Let's just see what happens. The, the only bad thing about this is it's going to make you wish so hard that they would do a full length film afterwards. I mean, this looks really good so far. Damn, dude. I wonder if they used a drone and sped up the footage there. Dutch angle. Not bad. looks so cool driving in a line, but if you're not the lead car, that's going to be awful. <laughs> it's true. It's like when people riding on horses, it's like grit in your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> I love that they got the, the holster as well. Right as well. Ah, sick. <laughs> oh, God. Who's the bad guy? Did you get it? No. This is all he had on him. Hmm. Hmm. Where have I seen that guy before? I can't remember. <laughs> it's 
else it's meant to be. It's great, right? <laughs> Nathan Everybody Drake. knew it. Yes. In the flesh. Legendary treasure hunter. Explorer. Historian. Thief. Whoa. Hey. I think you have me confused with somebody else, pal. Man <laughs> responsible for finding El Dorado, Corvera, and Shambhala. Oh, uh, then yes, okay, then yeah, that's me. Yeah. Yeah. Last night an antiquities collector held a private auction in La Paz. A rare item of great value was stolen. An item my employee rightfully purchased. So imagine my surprise when I find out that Nathan Drake is in town. <laughs> Sounds like quite a coincidence. I'd say. Uh... Tell me. What exactly is this? That is a compass. Perhaps we can use it to find this fella a haircut that didn't go out in the 90s. Am I right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> it's meant to be. Meant to be. I love this so much. God. You're a funny guy. Huh? <laughs> oh, where is it? Look, I don't know what it is you're looking for, but I don't have it. My employer is not a man you want to cross. You've already made him quite angry. I do tend to have that effect on people. <laughs> I love the writing and the delivery. Let's it's so good. Question, shall we? Before I violently remove something you care deeply about. So does that mean if I care deeply about you, you'll leave? <laughs> so good, I love it. <laughs> He's freaking perfect, man. Okay. I knew he would be. Okay. Yes, I did. We'll uh, see how cooperative you are after a little time with El Tigre. El Tigre. El who? Yeah. <laughs> You getting all this? Oh yeah. Loud and clear, kid. Sully! No way! Is that Stephen Lang? Yep. Oh, it's perfect! It's uh, so perfect! Pulling <laughs> 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 up plans for the house now. Let's keep those guys busy a little longer. I didn't even think about that one. <laughs> I love, but I love Stephen Lang. I mean, his scowl is so perfect as Sully. Yeah. Ernie Reyes Jr. Oh, that's El Tigre. <laughs> that's Ernie Reyes Jr. Dude, you don't want to be. Mm -mm. <laughs> Seriously, that's you guys. You got me. You got me. I was well presented. I was scared. Have fun. I'm glad they got such a great cast here, man. Hey there, little guy. What do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell. Crap. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wait, wait. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. I don't want to micromanage this thing, but I think you're supposed to be asking questions in between the punching. No. I consider this a privilege, Cavron. Cavron. I hear there are many men who would pay a great deal to spend some time alone with you. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh oh. Second floor, southeast corner. Tigre. Do shot. Algo no está bien. That was 
totally a punch from the game, too. Yep. Like the bow, bow. <laughs> yeah. See, Drake's Drake's always been uh, more of an impro improvisational guy and a and a street. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Uh oh. Not stop it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Insiguri. This works so well. I wish Carly were here. She loves the Uncharted series as much as I do. Have her better. Well, it doesn't look like they're on to you yet, so just get moving. Uh. <laughs> they seem pretty pissed about the bracelet. Yeah, I should have told them you have it. My face wouldn't be as sore. Keep it nice and warm for me. Oh yeah, nice and toasty. Hey, there it is. Hey, not to put a damper on things, but what happens if those letters aren't there? Chloe said the intel is solid. Guy paid top dollar for him. Hey, paid top dollar for security too. Now here's the thing: is I recognize this room from somewhere, and I can't place it. Okay, I'm in. Oh, Sully. You really need to check out this room. Wait. Yeah, maybe on the next door. Hurry up, will you? I know, what you're, I know what you're saying. I, I'm thinking I, it's I a reference to something else. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Alfonso Albuquerque's letters. Ooh. Sully, you're not going to believe this. This around. <laughs> it's got original copies digging back to the conquest of Malacca. Here we go. October 1511. That's right before they sailed back to Portugal in the Florida Lamar. Which is now sitting at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. I'm telling you, Nate, it's wild goose. Yeah, a wild goose worth two billion. The most valuable lost treasure in human history. Wait a minute. He's got a whole stack of letters from Ferdinand Magellan to Albuquerque. Earliest one is dated just a few weeks after the floor sank. So? So, Magellan served under Albuquerque during the conquest, but history tells us that's the last they saw of each other. Unless... Mm-hmm. Holy shit, Sully, do you know what this means? Kid, whenever you start doing this, nobody knows what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh-oh. Looks like it's gonna have to wait. They found your friends. Get the hell out of there. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Just roll them up and stick them in your pocket. They're like hundreds of years old. Again. Oh yeah, that's a dissolve like cool it would little, be in the game. Yeah, this is a really cool little segment. Sully. Who took his whole 
Okay. We've seen Sully and we've seen Nate. I'm expecting enough. Elena! Miss me? You know, I always find myself amazed that you two are incapable of returning these things the way you found them. Ah, we got the insurance. You did get the insurance, right? I thought you did. Oh, <laughs> God. As promised? Wow. Right? So, we're gonna break this open? I feel like we're always breaking things open. How about I hang on to that? Hey, did you see this? Uh huh. Well, I'll be go to hell. A triangle? Uh -huh. Not just a triangle, it's a trinity. A trinity, oh my god, of course. When the Fleur de Lamar sank, it took 400 people down with it, but not Albuquerque. He was rescued by another ship called the Trindage. Portuguese for Trinity. Exactly. Now, history is spotty on who captained it, but there was another ship called the Trinidad, a Spanish flagship, famous for having been the first to sail around the world. Magellan's Magellan. flagship. Holy shit. Magellan captained the rescue ship. Oh. Would you look at that? Are those <laughs> the coordinates? It never made any sense. Why would Albuquerque, considered to be one of the most brilliant military minds in history, put his treasure on the floor de la Mar, a ship that had proven itself time and time again to be unseaworthy? What if the reason no one has found the treasure of the floor de la Mar is because... The treasure was never on it. It was on the Trindage. Exactly. It never sank. And Magellan and Albuquerque both knew it. The Philippines. So what's this then? Our next stop. Well, I understand the weather in the Philippines is particularly fine this time of year. <laughs> cool. Oh. Uh. It's to be so a whole good. movie though i want it to be a whole movie too you know i hope naughty dog and sony see it and they're just like it's yeah it's super it's cool that they happen. did it just like uh this is what we can do yeah. yeah yeah well honestly think about this when deadpool was in developmental hell that's exactly what I was what cleared about. the air yeah. The, the the release of the comic-con footage yeah, yeah. which <laughs> wink wink nudge nudge it was one of the writers who did it because he had utter faith that it would work. Now here, here's one thing I'm I'm afraid of. If this is good, and this is this is uh, led into this leads into something more. That's awesome. But at the same time, this may go the route of the Power Rangers fan film and be blocked by the res the respective studios. <coughs> I hope not though. Well, I hope not, too, because here's the thing. They're not making any money off of this. Mm -hmm. They're not making any money. I mean, I don't even think they made money off of, uh, off of, you know, the promotion thing, you know, that you know they could have done with the Jeep Safari they had there because they showed the logo kind of blatantly yeah. saying, like, this isn't an advertisement, but it could be. Yeah. Yeah, and then the whole thing about the feel of this, it felt like the game in a lot of ways. Yeah. I mean... Cinematically, it's more it's adapted to be more like a film because, you know, especially in this interrogation scene, the interrogation scene definitely did feel more like a movie versus a scene versus a cut scene from the game. That's the thing too is I feel like they would translate back and forth so well because I've always said that playing an Uncharted game feels like you're getting to play an Indiana Jones film. Actually, this is one thing um, I actually. Actually, um, Nolan North. I actually got to uh, actually got to meet him, and I actually had him sign my copy of the uh, Uncharted trilogy. Sweet. Um, the thing about it is, my uh, I played those games uh, while my granddad watched. My granddad never played video, never liked video games, and all that. 
but he did love the Indiana Jones films. Yeah. And me playing that and me like showing him like, yeah, this this is me moving on screen. He's like, I swear, they this is just like you know, you control in a movie. This is amazing. Yeah. And uh we actually uh we actually comp- actually while I was w- there watching him while he was healing up from one of his surgeries, I played that with him. I played the uh, Uncharted trilogy while I was there with him and uh it yeah, it it was one thing we connected over and it was really awesome. And um, I told him if there was ever another one, I'd rush right over and we, I'd play this one, and uh, you could, uh, we could enjoy it together. And uh, Uncharted Four eventually did come out, but unfortunately, my grandfather passed away before that could happen. And uh, if I'm ever able to meet up with the rest of the cast of the Uncharted series, I'm going to have all of them sign it on top of, uh, you know, on top of the one that uh, the one that uh, Nolan North actually uh actually signed yeah so if i could actually get you know uh 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 forget his i forget his first name but uh mcgonagall the uh, guy who played sully and uh the woman who played elena fisher and uh also claudia black who played uh who played chloe if i could get her as well yeah um i think that'd be awesome but speaking of that by the way um i never got to play at all the new uncharted oh really with chloe yeah. Oh yeah. I, actually, um, so it came out after I had this on my PlayStation. Yeah. So I, <clears throat> I've got it. And uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to do a dual playthrough with me, because uh, I might call it Carly as well and have her come over because she's a huge fan of it as well. And we could actually do like a couch, uh, couch thing down here where we all sit down here and we play it. And if you want, we can swap on death. Yeah, that'd be cool. Because yeah. I think it'd be pretty well, fun. Yeah, I do. A, I do die a good bit in Uncharted. <laughs> so do I. Turn the difficulty up just to make sure we're done. So. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, um, this was fun. I'm so glad that this worked out, and I'm glad that they got such a good cast together. Yeah. I mean, they got they got Nathan Fillion, they got Stephen Lang, they got Ernie Reyes Jr. I mean, God. I had a favorite fan film before this one, which if you guys haven't seen, I'll probably tell you we should react to later. What is it? Um, it's a Metal Gear Solid fan film. Oh, <laughs> I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's real good. Uh, <laughs> Um, but this is definitely my favorite fan film now. This, is, this that was perfect. It's uh, it, phenomenal. It was really, really good. I mean, hey, Micah, based upon this, mm-hmm. what, do you think the Uncharted series would appeal to you in some way? I mean, I've got Uncharted three. What? Well, what? Well, well, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I, but I haven't. I haven't finished it. Well, I, I'd say play the. Have you played any of the other two Uncharted? Mm-hmm. I'd say play the first two before you play three because. There's some characters that in three, it's just like, who are these people again? It's like, yeah. I mean, it, it's fun. I mean, I I played it a little bit. I you know, I mean, it's cool. I just, yeah, I, <clears throat> it, but it, I can I understand it. It, <laughs> you're too busy, at, uh, you know, playing anything else on your Skyrim box. I mean, well, honestly, I don't really play video games anymore. I haven't played anything in months unless you count dumb phone games. Um, <laughs> You know, it just didn't really hit me at the right time. You know, I it, guess. Came, it came with the PS3, I think. So, well, that's uh, actually, I remember when I got a PS3. Um, I actually bought a, a PS3 again after I sold my first one. Um, it came with Uncharted. Uh, it came with the first two Uncharted games, and then I bought three, and then uh, I played. Uh, I played uh, all. Th- I played all three of them, but then. Uh, after that, I gave them all to Zach. It was just like, wow. It was like, wow. It was like, wow. This series is so good. And then, and here's another thing too about that series. Um, a lot of people don't don't know this about the series, but the series was overseen by a woman, actually, Amy Hennig. Amy Hennig. Got, uh, and who said women can't design video games? I mean, honestly, I I never look at like I never look at you know gender or you know skin color or anything like that when it comes to people designing games. If you're good at making something, you're good at making something. Why make it so superficial like everybody knows nowadays? It's like, oh, this is the first uh, this is the first transgender protagonist and you know such and such. I'm just like, guys, just make a good game. I don't care. Like, don't like needlessly like throw up. It's like, hey, virtue signal. It's like, hey, virtue signal. Hey, virtue. Si- oh, that's the mouse. Fuck. How'd that work out for you? Oopsie. Good night, everybody. Might need that back. I'm just joking. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, can you grab that for me, please? Yeah. And, uh-oh. Okay, it didn't break. Thank <laughs> God. I was worried my phone break because it made a noise. I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> but, 
honestly, just make just make good things. I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You don't have to like like just like bitch slap if, us with things. If you throw a character in that's like transgender or you know a different sexuality than straight or whatever, you know, no problem. Write them well. Yeah. And don't sell your game based on that. <clears throat> no, because then you're doing it for the wrong reason. You're not doing it for the game. Instead, it's to spread to spread a message. Which, honestly, if you want to spread that message, that's fine. But in all honesty, everything will just get lost in translation. Instead of people enjoying the game, instead, it's like, oh, this is, this is a message to everyone out there. It's just like, come on, guys. You can spread that message without having to resort to such to such depths of such depths of like Pandering, silliness essentially. Yeah, yeah exactly but eh well uh that's a whole other conversation for a entirely different video for yeah. other reasons but um the entire moral of the story was Nathan Fillion is a perfect Nathan Drake we all knew that now it's yeah. been proven to us all that we were right yes I yeah. said this I said this years ago when they said, oh, we want Mark Wahlberg, like, like the studio head was just like, no, we want Mark Wahlberg to play because he's a big name now. And I'm like, what? What? You? No! Yeah. Like, come on, man. Don't, don't do that. Please don't do that. No, don't do that. But, look, I, I like Mark Wahlberg. There's no, no knock against Mark Wahlberg. I like he, Mark Wahlberg. Fun. Like, when I initially... Played the first Uncharted, I had to look up Nathan's voice actor because at the time I was unfamiliar with Nolan North, and I was stoked because I was like, "Did Nathan Fillion voice him?" No, I thought it was him. Well, I was like, but I was like, that's why he would be perfect, you know. Actually, let me do a, a side by side comparison because if Amy if Amy Hennig was not at least inspired by by Nathan Fillion in terms of the look, yeah, like let me, it's like same haircut and everything almost. Uh, Nathan Drake. There we are. I didn't even have to finish typing it. Nope. Yep. There you yeah, go. look at these two side by side. Yeah. Square jaw, button nose, ears. They're literally the same man. Yeah, look at that right there. <laughs> that was scary. That was freaking scary. Look at this. The haircut is like perfectly matched. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look, let me get it back on screen. Dang it. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Just give him, a, give him a little bit of a tan and darken his hair a little bit. Holy hell. Has the Uncharted movie found its Nathan Drake posted on 12th of July, 2018? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. And I hope this launches Nathan Fillion and gives him like... Uh, gives him like a multi multi billion dollar like franchise that he can like latch onto and play for the next and be in for the next ten years. Yeah, because like I mean that they left off like the games and we're like we're not gonna do any more right now. So there's plenty of room for them to do like I think that was supposed to be in between three and four from what it seemed like. Cause what the uh, Uncharted the new Uncharted like that yeah that uh, that um. Fan film. Oh, the fan. Oh, yeah, yeah the fan film. Sad. It sounded like between three and four because he he named off the three places he found in the first three games. Yeah, but then yeah. like he was he, he didn't seem like as old and like you know Elena was like you know we're not doing this stuff anymore like yeah the fourth one and like she she still seemed like all for going <clears throat> on one more adventure and everything right there. Yeah, they. I'll say this the the ending of four or the 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 entire or four as an entirety is. If they never make another Uncharted game with Nathan Drake, I wouldn't be unhappy. Because, honestly, it's... it To me, it's just like, wow. Unbelievable. But... And a lot and a lot of people are just... Well, Lost Legacy, I mean... It, actually, you know what you need to do? You need to play 4 on the channel. I think that'd be... I think that'd be awesome. If you want to, like, come over and play 4, like, sure. with us. Like, with us, you know, you live stream late into the night if you want to. Yeah, cuz I have played 4 like before, but I'll play it again for sure. Oh, you have you beaten it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I've played 1 through 4. I just haven't got to play. Uh, oh, you were talking about Lost Legacy. Okay. Yeah. I thought I thought I thought Chloe. I, I'm sorry, I got mixed got mixed up there. It's just like Oh, you're good. I thought I was like, "Wait, you haven't played 4?" Oh, okay. No, I have played 4. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, doy. But yeah, yeah like uh, Lost Legacy, I'll totally be down for playing if you guys are down. All right, man. Definitely. I mean, I'll I'll call up Carly and see if she wants to be a part of that too, because she said she wanted wanted to be over whenever I I played it and all that. Yeah. 
Oh, well. Well, I think that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. It is currently past 11 o'clock for us, so thank you all so much for tuning in. This was the Uncharted live-action fan film starring Nathan Fillion. <laughs> and it's so good. Please make this a thing. Please, for the love of God. Please. Por favor. Take all my monies. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everyone. We'll see you later. Peace out. Later.